today we are going to discuss the extra light project and as I understand it, we are going to interpret an effect before it actually happened and going to discuss this project front to back and back to the front again uh, using all the questions that we answered in the questionnaire. So the work, this is the Norder Care. The work is uh, four smokes, uh, machines producing smoke and uh, a lot of strong lights shining in on the 10th of December with an audience of hundreds of uh, preachers and theologians. So the first question was, the light is only a visual effect and has no other connotations. Well, this was one of the few questions where we have uh, a strong agreement on strongly disagreeing with the statement. Mm. Um, I guess, uh, the, but uh, the reasons are quite uh, uh, plural of, uh, yeah, different is that some people talk more about light as let's say effect in general and the other people talk more about light within the context of this artwork or within the context of the situation of the work yeah. and just to get my picture clear it was only working through the questions that I realized that the questions are focused on this specific art yeah. event yeah? yeah these are not questions in general but they're focused on, on this specific uh, yeah. event that mm -hmm. we're going to see. Yeah. I think we shouldn't think of the subjectivity of Sasha and saying um, uh, Sasha did it because of this reason but more think about it what what happens to the work when such a questions and such a questionnaire in this situation itself is becomes part of the work. And somebody referred to um, the fact that um, the light will be interpreted by uh, this group of people who has been selected n not by being religious but by being art critics or scientists or something like that and being interpreted by a religious group, people who are preachers or, um, or theologians um, and that because of this double interpretation the light can be interpreted both in a, let's say a, a profane way and in, in a religious way. I, I don't know if, in, uh, if this is uh, relevant to it but there's something about for me about the light coming from two big windows. Mm -hmm. I think they're, they're quite big, and you will have really strong light coming from two sides, which is kind of unnatural mm -hmm. if you compare it there. You were used to having a shadow side and a light side, and now you will have two sides with very strong light coming. Yeah. And it gave me an, a, a feeling of maybe it would be more an alien effect, like a spaceship coming mm -hmm. down. You know, there is a, some kind of, there's something happening that is nor that's not normal for the, for the human eye. Mm. And I'm not sure if that then would be considered as a, that would be feel divine or. Yeah. It's very hard, you know, culturally to see in a different light somehow. You know, it's the first word of the genesis is mm. <laughs> yeah. light, and we're very, uh, you know, culturally, uh, you know, embedded in this tradition or the Evanist, you know, tradition of uh, Plato's cave. And so it's hard to move away from. So mm -hmm. this association is a bit, uh, with yeah. the divine, uh, hard to prevent or yeah. um, mm. to be completely removed from, from it, especially in the context of the mm -hmm. yeah. church. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I don't really agree. <laughs> I think uh, uh, actually, um, I mean, just that word divine light, I think it's kind of a, uh, it's a very strong uh, definition of what kind of light it is. I think if you, uh, because it is an art project, and because there are artists participating in the project, there are people who are not religious or theologians who are participating in the project. I think it's, it's even more difficult for me, more difficult for them to see it as a divine light. They see it as a light in relation to art. And I think uh, that use of light and that uh, the metaphors and the associations that that, that, that uh, uh, creates, I think is the artistic divine light. I, I too, uh, tend to look at the whole installation as an artwork. Yeah. And when you're talking about the light, this special lighting as a negation or transformation of the original religious purpose of the space of the church mm -hmm. as it was originally mm -hmm. meant. Mm -hmm. What will it do to you to be in this space in these yeah. circumstances? Will mm -hmm. it wipe away the original meaning of the space or will it strengthen the original meaning will it give you metaphysical uh, experience or will it just give you a 
experience of beauty with no metaphysical con connotation. I, I will be. It would be yeah. very curious to see how you can how you can take away the meaning of this building if you're inside it. How much smoke do you need to make people blind of the of the whole setting? Because any all these shapes of the the windows and the mm -hmm. yeah the construction of the I'm thinking, uh, the, the roof everything will say church. Mm -hmm. And since we are, like you say, we are so, we live in that, um, within within that cultural uh, dogma. So it will be virtually impossible. I think you need to, you need to blind the people sitting but there, not to give it a cult, not to give it a Christian or religious uh, meaning. So that's why I kind of had difficulty calling it divine light. It's because the light comes from outside. The light is actually aggressive. The light, is not, uh, the light isn't part of the church. It's actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Penetrating the church is more as a search light or something like that, actually, than also light. That's so I think that relationship between the light and the church, I think for that reason also I wouldn't give it that, because it's not, a, it's not a, something that comes from within, it comes from without. I think that's important to realize at the same time. I have another example of the, of the architects I actually just saw this morning. It's, it's a cathedral of light from Albert Speer, <laughs> it's in, uh, which I think is an interesting thing. And, uh, you see also the aggressiveness of it, and you see the fact that I think well, it, it, it works as he was an architect, so he's, uh, he's making these, because uh, I think it's just called a cathedral, but at the same time I look at it, I think at the same time, oh, three years later there were searchlights looking for the planes who were going to bomb uh, yeah. Nuremberg also at the same time. That, that is also the connotation of the work also, you know, I think, that so it's, uh, I can't really see the light as having anything to do with architecture whatsoever. Uh, but. Uh, this uh, spears thing of putting the light up uh, is now used by like uh, nightclubs. I think maybe you sometimes see this light over the city, and it immediately becomes very dominant of your visual uh, what you see in the city when that happens. Um, and that used to be the church spire. Do you yeah. call it church spire when yeah, yeah. when everything was flat and the only thing that was allowed to reach up was this. Uh, was this space? Yeah, yeah, what I find interesting in your remarks to say that it's sort of a contemporary translation, that it mirrors, let's say, a structural function that the, f that the church used to have in, in earlier days. Is that it's not so much about, the, let's say, the content that we attribute to the building, but it's much more about how a certain experience is structured. And that yeah. uh, uh, this light could have the same sort of, and uh, that this light, in a sense, is the uh, contemporary translation of the, of the tower of the church somehow in our experience. It's one aspect, interesting aspect to the to this artwork because um, is the artist with this installation placing the light in the font, is he um, strengthening the experience of God in this space or is he God himself in this space? Is he taking over? Mm. That is uh, a split uh, opinion, I think, here. This is more a comment to you, just the way you phrase it, because what the artist thinks here seemed to me to be quite irrelevant in a way because of this questionnaire mm -hmm. that, that it is more about these different possibilities in a way. Uh, I, I, I just can't imagine if, I have no idea, but if the artist was had a very specific idea wouldn't be so interested in, uh, in I know, I know, he, he, but it's funny because he, the artist in this case is invisible, yeah. but he has brought us together, yeah. he is lighting up the space and he um, has the power to, to set the context. Yes, yes indeed. That's exactly what God has been doing. All these years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is no outside to the work somehow. Everything mm. is sucked into it yeah. Yeah, because of this. Yeah. Yeah.